Kitco News special coverage of the Future Blockchain Summit is brought to you by Cook Finance, a revolution in DeFi asset management. I'm here with a very special guest. He is Abdullah Alashkam. He is the CEO of the Emirates Plus Group. Welcome, Abdullah. Thank you. Honored to have you on Kitco News. I'm glad. All right, you were telling me offline yesterday. I talked to you at a dinner that the, the, the mail is not dead because you handled all of the mail in the UAE. Physical mail, I'm not talking about email. Posts, packages, parcels. You would think that in the age of the digital age, which is the theme of the conference, that people will stop using the mail. Is that the case? It's not, absolutely not. Uh, we're very glad to be part of the Jitex and the future blockchain summit here in Dubai. It's amazing to have a great event after this pandemic. Uh, it's very well uh, organized. We see the crowd here. We're very excited to be part of it. So. Going to the post, uh, I, I agree with what you're saying. In a lot of people's mind, they think the post wouldn't have a room to play going in the future. But what it comes out to that the post is more uh, involved in, in the center of the society these days than ever. So looking at this pandemic, it's just have proved that the post is a vital sector out of the uh, society. Our volumes have doubled in terms of packets for all the e-commerce growth that we had in. As we all know, e-commerce is the future of commerce and it's growing by two digits globally. It's still in its way growing in the Middle East. So definitely the post office can play a really a big role in making sure that we deliver these packets on time in a secure way to our customers. So the post have a lot to offer. This, uh, do you have information as to where the parcels are coming from? Is it big businesses like tech? Is it small businesses locally sending out uh, uh, their, their products? I mean, there's two major uh, parts where this business is flowing from. It's uh, e-commerce retailers in the region or in the country itself, or cross-border around the globe. And, and that's where people would ship their e-commerce uh, products from. Okay, tell us about how you handle logistical problems during COVID. Obviously challenged everybody. I mean, I don't think anybody was prepared for COVID fully. Uh, yes. it, it took us uh, with a surprise. Uh, but I'm so glad to say there's a lot of lesson learned within that uh, pandemic. It took us a couple of weeks to adopt, to get our head around what's going on. But we definitely came out of it stronger. We learned a lot on the whole journey. We were operationally every single day. We adopted new uh, mediums in terms of our operation and our deliveries. Our branches were open. We were supporting the society. We make sure that our staff is being looked after and health and safety was number one. At the same time, our customers are comfortable because we adopted all the new rules and regulations in terms of contactless delivery, in terms of new mediums, in terms of uh, accepting payments uh, online. All of that helped for us to really provide a good service for our customers. Now, are there any significant changes you've made in your logistics that you plan to keep even post COVID? Definitely, there's a lot of things that we adopted. One of them, for example, contactless deliveries. So we don't have to really shake hands or be very close to the customer. The customer can do the payment of that package online. We just keep it on uh, his uh, doorstep and then he comes and picks it up. So there's no interaction with our courier, with our staff very in a close proximity. So that's something we're definitely looking forward to keep and, and to provide. There's a lot of new things that we're trying to adopt in, in the near future, is providing lockers in the market to deliver for the last mile, Pudo locations, and that's something we're trying to develop as we speak. Yeah, let's talk about changes in technology because we are at a check technology conference. The changes in technology in the future that you will most likely see significantly impact your operations as Postmaster. I mean, as we're all seeing how fast technology has been moving, I think in the last couple of months itself, we've seen a huge growth and adaptation. Blockchain is definitely going to be the, the, the backbone of any new technology going forward because we definitely need a single source of truth of data and the blockchain can provide that. On top of it, it's going to be an ecosystem. So we're going to adopt IOTs, we're going to adopt AI and machine learning, and we're going to embrace all the new kind of technologies to make sure that our operation is almost in a seamless manner, our customers are satisfied, and we support our customers with all their requirements. Okay, how does blockchain technology 
become integrated with traditional mail? Definitely the backbone would be the data would start on a blockchain platform. And that's how we're going to really communicate to all other uh, uh, technologies through it. So it's going to be the backbone. That's where the whole data would flow from. Yeah. And eventually it will allow the operation to be more smooth because we have a better visibility on the whole flow of, of the mail and the logistics. And our customers will be able to access all the services in terms of customer service, in terms of inquiries, track and trace, everything will be built around that platform. Yes. Uh, one of the major concerns for the global economy, obviously, was supply chain issues during COVID. Have you observed any improvements on that front? Definitely, there's a lot of things that we're considering right now. How can we really integrate more on, on the back end with our uh, uh, customers yeah. to make sure that we give a better visibility to their customers when it comes to the logistics part? Okay. And uh, shipping costs have risen. Do you see that being a, a trend? Definitely. I mean, with the pandemic, there were you know issues with, with supply. Uh, demand was booming. Supply was uh, being restricted because of all the things that happened around the world. But definitely it's going to come back to its, its uh, normal phase. And, and hopefully now there's a lot of lesson learned within this pandemic and people will be more and well prepared for the future. God forbid if anything happens. Yeah. OK. And just... Finally, going ahead, looking ahead now, your final plans for uh, the mail system for the UAE. What are some of the long-term objectives you'd like to achieve, the long-term improvements you'd like to make? I mean, definitely there's three main aspects that our strategy really falls on, is trying to own the last mile, and we will become the last mile providers in, in the region. The second thing is try to digitize as much as we can in terms of our products and adopt all new technologies and cutting edge technologies. And three is to be a platform of innovation and to embrace innovation within the culture of the organization and within the culture of the UAE. Have you worked with any other partners for uh, 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 posts around the world who are also on the... We're definitely part of the Universal Postal Union. So we are in very close contact with all the post offices around the globe. We are all part of the union. We always try to support and grow and share experience and learn from others. And that's something we continue doing. And what you're doing in terms of adoption of new technology like blockchain, is that something everybody else is doing around the world? I mean, if I, if I summarize that, what made us here, what make us reach here 30 years ago, is definitely not going to take us to be existing for the next 30 years. If we don't really adopt a lot of new ways and technologies, for us to survive. So we all are experimenting right now. We all are trying and every post office around the globe is trying to figure out what is the right business model. There isn't the ideal business model today to say that's the ideal business model for the next 50 years. We all are working hard to find that business model. We collaborate, we share the experience, as I said, and we learn from each other. I think in the next couple of years with the support of these great technologies would give us a better visibility. What is the real business model that makes a post office successful, profitable, and really satisfy their customers? Before I let you go, can you give us an example of such business model that you have in mind? I mean, as I mentioned earlier, the, the, these are the business models that we will need to adopt, is how can we really provide the best, best mile yes. for our customers? How can we really embrace all these new technologies in place and make them work and eventually monetize them. We're not doing this uh, as in a charity. We're definitely looking at this to monetize and to make profit out of and benefit our customers and to be a platform of innovation in logistics at any mean and any way. Abdullah, absolute honor to have you on Kitco News. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, David. Appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for watching Kitco News. I'm David Lin. Kitco News special coverage of the Future Blockchain Summit is brought to you by Cook Finance. A revolution in DeFi asset management.